Good morning. It is 7.56 on a Sunday morning and I am going to do a pork butt roast in the oven. It cooks six to eight hours so I want to start it early, get it marinating. And what am I going to use it for? This week I'm going to use it for some tacos, some street tacos. I'm going to do some pulled pork for Neil's lunch, maybe put barbecue sauce, maybe not. And then I'm having a dinner party, and so I was thinking I would put this roasted pork maybe in some kind of a pasta. I'm not 100% sure, but I might as well go ahead and, you know, get it going. All right, so what am I going to do first? I'm going to make a rub. So a rub is going to be something that we just slather on it and then put it in the Dutch oven. We're going to brown it, then we're going to put it in the oven. So right now I have my oven set at 450. As soon as this pork roast comes to room temperature, I'm gonna rub it with the marinade. I'm gonna saute it in the Dutch oven. I'm gonna put it in the regular oven for 15 minutes at 450 and then I'm gonna turn it down to 250 or 230, I need to check. And then I'm gonna leave it for six to eight hours. So let's get started on this because it's gonna be a long day, right? I'm gonna do a huge heaping spoon. I'm gonna do two because I love garlic of garlic. I'm going to be making a paste. I'm going to go ahead and put some salt and pepper in there. How much are you putting, Diane? We can't see what you're doing. I just, two tablespoons of everything, maybe three, because most of it is going to cook off. And it's just going to add flavor. The only thing you got to be careful on is the salt. Make sure you don't do too much salt. You can always add. I'm going to do some basil because this is what I have in my garden. Whatever you have in your garden, if you have, oh, I have thyme out there too. I forgot to grab some of that. Uh, if you have rosemary, use rosemary. This is oregano. Just going to pull it straight down. Get all those leaves off there. Some of mine is starting to go to seed. So you want to make sure you use those pieces first. See, this is going to seed. Seed means it's going to little flowers and then it's gonna bloom and then it'll go to seed and then it stops growing basically. So you always wanna use those pieces first. If I get a little bit of the stem in there, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna puree this in my food processor. I grew parsley. Parsley. Throw that in there. Oops. You can add anything into your paste. If I had anchovies, I'd add anchovies because I love anchovies, but I don't have any right now. So I'm just gonna put all my herbs, my garlic. That was some more basil, more oregano, more oregano. Diane, that's a lot of oregano. I know, it's okay, it's flavor. Because once this pulled pork cooks and we start pulling it apart, we want all those flavors to get inside. All right, we are going to just put this in your food processor or Robocoo. We're gonna get it going. I have the short blade and I'm just basically pureeing it. Now it's already chopped. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding oil. It's almost like I'm making a pesto. I just wanted to get to be a paste. Adding more olive oil. How much are you adding? Uh, maybe a fourth of a cup. Because what I want is I want this to get to a really good consistency so when I smear it, uh, it will stick. I forgot one. Just drop it in there. So we have basil, parsley, oregano, garlic, salt and pepper, olive oil. That's it. Some red pepper flakes. That would be good. About a teaspoon. Don't want to be too spicy. Neil doesn't like spicy. But you want to add a little bit of heat. All right, so this is done. Done. What does it look like now, Diane? Ooh, smells good. It's basically just a green pesto. So what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna open this pork 
uh, pork roast. I'm gonna rinse it and I'm gonna pat it dry. So stand by. It's still rolling. It says it's still rolling. This phone's crappy.